Welcome to this brief tutorial explaining how to attend a Zoom meeting at which participants are allowed to freely roam through multiple breakout rooms, and especially if music will be played. This video was made using an iPhone, but the controls are essentially the same on an Android phone. It will just look a little different. The first thing is that you must have the Zoom app installed on your phone and it must be up to date. So click on the App Store and search on Zoom. And this is what you want is Zoom Cloud Meetings. And it'll either say open like mine does because I'm up to date, or it'll say update if you're ready for an update, or it'll say get if you've never installed the app before. So click whatever that button is and you'll install the app. Once you have the app installed, there's an important setting to check before joining an event at which you might sing or play a musical instrument. Find the zoom icon and tap it then tap the settings wheel at the top left and then meetings. Scroll down until you see use original sound and tap the button to turn it green. I'll explain about original sound in a bit. Meanwhile you might want to adjust some of the other settings here like automatically muting your microphone or turning off your video when you first arrive in a meeting. You've probably received an email with a Zoom link that looks a lot like this. So click on that link and it'll automatically open up the app. Enter the password, tap continue, and then call using internet audio. And now you've arrived at the main lobby of the event. Swipe left to see who's in there with you. Tap your screen and notice the toolbar at the bottom. The microphone icon on the left is used to mute and unmute your microphone. You should always mute your mic when you're not using it, and particularly if you leave the place where your phone is located. It's a good idea to mute your mic when moving to a new breakout room that may have an event in progress. Next to the mute button is the camera icon. Tap that to start or stop your video feed anytime you want. There's the video. That's me. I'm going to stop the video now. Notice the name in the bottom left corner of my video box. You'll want to have the name people know you by displayed so everyone can find you. To change the name, tap your screen and at the bottom right tap participants. Then tap on your name at the top of the list and select rename and enter the name that you prefer. and click Done, and Close. There's one other important setting to change if you're going to be making music on Zoom. Zoom uses some audio processing to make things better for conversation, but that actually makes it bad for music. So you'll want to bypass that by enabling original sound when singing or playing an instrument. Tap on the screen, tap on the three little dots where it says More in the bottom right of the screen, then tap Enable Original Sound. If we go back, we see that now it says Disable Original Sound, and that's how you know Original Sound is on and enabled. Now let's see how to move around the event. Tap on your screen, and then on the Join Breakout Rooms icon in the top left corner. Now you can see the rooms by name. You may need to scroll down to see all the rooms. Tap on a room to select it, then tap the blue join button at the bottom, and now we're off to the selected room. Swipe left to see others in the room, and tap participants at the bottom of the screen to see a list of everyone that's in the room with you. If you want to go to a different breakout room, tap the breakout room icon again, Select a room and click join and off you go. Tap the blue leave button and then leave breakout room anytime to return to the main lobby where you first arrived where you can ask for assistance if necessary. One thing to note is that on phones Zoom doesn't allow you to see ahead of time who is in any rooms. 
This is a very handy feature that is only available when attending using a laptop or desktop computer. And that's all there is to it. Have a good time.